and the show contains scenes of violence and coarse language. Your discretion is advised. I ain't a fucking chooch. We had just broken out of that prison, but at a very costly price. Tate ended up getting the upper hand of Mike. What did you do? In a better place. Much better place. A place where aren't there fucks like you. You join the regulators for this? We fight for the good people. You don't understand. You've betrayed us. What's the difference between you and them, huh, Tate? Huh? You murder. Not much! Before the law. Go to hell! very bittersweet. We finally had freedom, but Mike was lost, but we had to keep running, or else it would have been for nothing. Maybe one day, we'll get our hands on Tate, and show him justice for once. During our travels, we found his old abandoned military camp, which was perfect, cause it had guns and everything we needed to start surviving. And boy did we need it, those fucking things out there. Completely forgot about them, they're everywhere. And I mean everywhere. All those fucking dead things. But we had to readapt real fast. We needed new clothes, food, drinks. We needed to learn how to survive again. A lot of us just split up, make it harder for the regulators to find us. And we would meet in a town up north called Starry Yar. That day I had Johnny, Philip, and Blue on my side. Alfie and Jack would come and meet us later. Oh shit, guys, 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 guys. Get down. See that? Some light over there. Yeah. Right, keep it down. For the past three days, the only thing I've seen walking was dead. But it sure looked like we were about to make contact with some people for the first time since we broke out. I say we go greet them. See what they're about. Two, uh, two of you stay back here. Me and Johnny will go check this out. Who's out there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Don't point your gun at me. Don't point your gun at me. We're not here to do anything wrong. Come over here, Julius. We got scum. I, I'll... We're not fucking scum. What are you calling scum? Listen, put your gun down and I'll put mine down, okay? How's that? You put yours down first. Fine. Johnny. Yeah. Put it down, Johnny. Hey. See that? Ain't got nothing. Hey, I put my gun away. How about you put yours away? Be fair here. Huh? He seemed very overly worried. See? I no problem here. We just saw your lights. <coughs> Jeez, you okay? Are you alright, man? I'm fine. Fine. So, uh, we got a couple guys back there. They also mean no harm, like us. They were just kind of looking out for us. <whistles> hey, guys, you can come out. So, Mr. I don't know what to call you. What's your name? Julian. Yeah. Julian. Oh, nice to meet you, uh, Julian. My name is Tony, and this here is my uh, good friend Johnny. Hey, how you doing? And these two fine boys behind me is Philip and Blue. Hmm. Is uh, that lady okay? Looks a little scared. You don't need to be scared of us, you know. We're not the big bad wolf here. We saw your light, like I said, you know. It's, uh, we wanted to kill you, uh... I think it would have been done already, so you don't need to worry about that. It's okay. A lot you guys of could, want to kill me. Let's just say I haven't been around. You know, none of us have in a long fucking time. So you're gonna have to. Uh... What? Yeah. Yeah, we've been in a hole. How have you been, been avoiding all this? 
before, you know, I say anything about us, you know, is I already think, you know, I think we said a lot already. <laughs> you know, how about a little more about you? Who wants to kill you? Why? How do I know you're not working with him? Hmm? Well, you don't. You don't believe, believe you. you. Believe you me, friend. We're not working for nobody. <laughs> yeah, but can you trust that? Quite honestly, I get it. All right? You're probably lying to me, too. But, you know, just for shits and giggles, right? Why? You know, if I wanted to kill you, like I said, I would have done it. If it would have been a contract deal, trust me, my friend. You would be pretty much dead already. I I'm pretty confident in that. Really? With the weapons these guys are carrying on them, they would have taken us out with them still sitting at that fucking fire. Wouldn't even know what hit us. Telling you, you could trust us. As a uh, test of good faith, how about this? I'm gonna go ahead and give you something here. Right here on my feet. If y'all are hungry, why don't you come get some food? Hunter, grab. Who's trying to kill you? And why the fuck would they be trying to kill a nice guy that hasn't shot at me yet? There's some people out there that call themselves the Borm. They didn't like me or her too much. Yeah, why is that? One thing, I'm not sure Russian. That's probably a contributor to it. Before they uh, started calling themselves the Boar, they were two uh, militant groups, I suppose. Volki and Daviri. Then they combined their forces to make some sort of government. So these people you're telling me about, they, uh, they're from here, right? I suppose they've uh, been all over. Uh, I heard something recently about them being driven out of a town like they drove me out of my town. Um, some French people claiming it's called New Paris now. <laughs> huh. They gave us a lot of valuable information. Stuff that's going on out there. Some names to remember. They also told me he was the mayor of this town. A place called Pinewood. But after all that information, it was time for me to say something about us. So where, uh, where have we been, you ask, right? <laughs> well, it's not too complicated. You know a place called Estellus? It's a goddamn fucking island around uh, here. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, that place, that fucking shithole. That's where we've been held up for quite <laughs> some time. <laughs> so, uh, been held against a will. We had to fucking slave to fucking uh, do the, the dirty work and stuff like that, you know, cleaning up the place with goddamn fucking toothbrushes. Uh, hold on one second. He pulled up his pants late to show us something. See, I got shot back in July. I... Yeah, well, That's a pretty nasty scar there. Yeah. The rigs, yeah, they protected me, I suppose, for... You know, they got the bullet out, whoever the hell it was, I don't know who did surgery on me. It's probably that clueless fucking doctor. <laughs> I'm pissed off that I missed the play, you know? Oh shit, yeah, they're improv. <laughs> oh, it's a shame we missed it. Yeah. Hey, maybe they'll put it back on when we get back. <laughs> oh, he was, he was terrible. <laughs> maybe I've heard him in hushed tones. I used to be around the regulators a lot, but I wasn't a part of them, no. I hope not. I didn't want to be part of that life. Yeah. I just keep walking. Who fucking does that? Who keeps people on a goddamn island after this freaking, I don't know, outbreak thing is what they're calling it? You know, like I said, I've been in there almost since the beginning. I haven't had time to see much. Neither of these uh, fine fellows behind me. You know, we've been uh, pretty much clueless as to what's going on out here. But one thing's for fucking sure, I want those regulators dead. For what they've fucking done to us. The beatings, the unnecessary fucking beatings, the goddamn cleanings, the fucking making us grow food all goddamn fucking day, I swear to god. I swear to fuck, I'm sorry mother, if you hear me, I swear to fucking god. If I get my hands on that taint, motherfucker, he's dead. I couldn't be more proud to have made it out of there alive with you fine folks. And of course, the other friends out there. This one goes out to Mike. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be here. Here's to you, amico. And of course, fuck you, Tate. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. We weren't ready to forget about Mike's sacrifice. 
we will get revenge. Later that night, the other guys went to bed. I just couldn't sleep. Julian was still up, so we had a chat. How long are you guys going to be staying around here? Not too long there, Julian. Not too long. I mean, I appreciate everything you, uh... You know you did, boss, when we arrived. I also appreciate the information and you know, all that good stuff. But, you know, we have to go out there. It's time to start living our lives. Find a place to stay, maybe. Somewhere secluded. Is going south an option for you guys? There's a lot of activity up here nowadays. It wouldn't be that wise to stay around here. There's an area that uh, I think would be fine. I, uh, after we were driven out of here, me and my wife went down to an area down south and we stayed for a few days. It's pretty quiet. There's a castle there, I think. I promised to tell you my war story. You told me yours. You figured it's only fair, right? And hey, you'd be getting a lot more information that way, right? I told you about those communists, the Chidaki. Me, Eric, and people that we met, we formed a movement. We fought against these communists. Guerrilla warfare, you know what I mean. One day, it was gone. And they turned their backs on me. People turning on each other like that. It's a lack of fucking respect. You know, family. That's all we have, right? When you have that family, you trust them. I trust my boys. I didn't understand the value of trust. I didn't know exactly who these men were. I thought they knew me, but they didn't. They didn't respect me. I met a man named Ricky. We came up here. We made a town up here. Pinewood. And then one day, those brothers came. What I once thought was a safe area, it wasn't. But we had people here. This was our town. Defended it to the last man, I planned. And one day, the, uh, the threat stopped, it seemed. But it went more covert. One of the people who lived in the town turned on us, joined the brothers. She goes by the name of Lily. And then one day, one of the people who lived in this town, Advel, he, uh, was a fighter for a group of people who went by the name of Volky. Came and put a gun to the back of my head, forced me out of the town. Sorry to hear that. And after that, me and my wife ran. We went down south, like I said. <sighs> At this point, I don't think anyone's going to remember Pinewood. So if there's any passing wisdom I can give you, it's this. If you hear the names Chidaki, Reapers, 501st, if you know people that used to belong to these groups and movements, you steer clear, unless you've got some guys to fuck them up with you. I'll uh, remember that. And that continues to Zabor. You hear that name. You don't trust that name. They may Zabor. pretend to be all smiles, but they won't be. They'll stab you in the back, just as they did to me. Glad everybody could make it. Alfie, Jack, good to see you. This is a family now, and uh, I plan to take good care of all of you, and I expect the same from everyone. As you all know, I used to be in the Mafia, and I would really like to bring a little piece of home right here. We can start something fucking huge here. We're next to nothing right now. Actually, we are nothing. But that's gonna change with a team like this. And the others, we're gonna recruit along the way. We're gonna be unfucking stoppable. For now, we're gonna have to bend to some of the rules that are going around here. But that's just because we ain't big enough. Listen, I told you boys about this. You all know your positions. And you all know that if you do this, you're working for me. Let's give ourselves some drive, some motivation to fucking live. And every good group needs a boss. And that boss is me. 
So if you all agree to this, you want to take on this new world, then you just need to follow me. We're going south, boys. Fuck it. I'm down. And they follow. And that was the day the New World Mafia was born. Uh -huh.